Hello and welcome to another episode of Boozing with Boomers. I'm Dave and I've been on a quest to learn how to make a great balanced cocktail, so please hit the subscribe button so we can go on this journey together. Today we're going to make the chocolate martini with our homemade creme de cacao using a clot chocolate's cocoa nibs. We also use this in the Monica Manhattan in episode 26, which is a great cocktail, great chocolate cocktail for whiskey drinkers. One trick I've learned of, after I've made several batches of this is that every few days, so you, you, the recipe will be in the description below, but you steep the cocoa nibs in a, a vodka, a very clean vodka, and I happen to use Tabarich, which is a, a Russian vodka that's not too expensive, um, but is delicious. And every few days, shake the nibs mixture. This will allow the cocoa nibs to really get infused with the vodka and it creates a darker, richer flavor. So it's worth a little extra effort. I'm also happy to announce that A Clot Chocolate has once again partnered with Boozing with Boomers by offering a 15% discount for all online orders for all of our viewers. The link for A Clot Chocolate and the discount code BOOMERS2021 is located in the episode description below. In addition, if you are local to Westchester, Pennsylvania, you can order online and choose to pick it up in the store and save on the shipping cost. But I will warn you that once you go to their store, you might develop a craving to buy more. And lastly, with the holidays approaching, these also make great gifts. So please help out a great small business by buying a box or two of chocolates for your friends or for your employees. They will definitely thank you for it. So I think Christopher Curtin makes the best chocolates in the world. Um, so please try them and let me know what you think. One thing I know for sure, this creme de cacao recipe makes the best chocolate martini. And so let's start making that. We are gonna start uh, with the least expensive ingredient, which I guess by the ounce is probably not the bitters, um, but I found Aztec chocolate bitters and the recipe in theirs is really good for this recipe. So I'm gonna start with my bitters and just do three dashes per drink, but of course, I'm gonna make one cocktail for you and one for me, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Second, we've got our creme de cacao, and it's one and a half ounces of the creme de cacao, and you can see it's got a nice dark color. Um, unlike most of the creme de cacao you will find in the liquor store is clear, uh, not nearly as tasty as this. I, I am a complete convert. And then lastly, I'm using the Tabarich vodka that I use to make the creme de cacao. Not necessary. Um, I have tried to make the creme de cacao with absolute vodka and it actually had a little bit of a flavor to it. So you might want to experiment, but I would think it's safe that whatever vodka you choose to make the creme de cacao will also make the great vodka martini. So you don't have to buy a vodka martini, chocolate martini. So you don't have to go out and buy a, a separate bottle. But the, the key is you want as clean a flavor as possible. And a lot of the Russian vodkas I found are probably good. And this is a good one that's not too expensive. So one and a half ounces of vodka. This is a stirred drink. So again, as, as we have talked about, the, I, the whole point of the ice is a little bit of dilution um, and it's to chill it down. So you don't, by just putting in one cube, you will actually get more water in the drink than putting in a lot of cubes, which I kind of found interesting. And, and the concept is when you're putting in a lot of ice cubes, it's actually chilling everything down quicker so it dilutes a little bit less. So let's stir this for 30 seconds and I'll be right back. So what's really interesting about this is everyone always like, how long do you actually shake or stir? And, and I did some research on people that say, hey, here's how long you do it. The other cheating is you can feel as this chills down because the goal is you want a chilled cocktail, but you don't want it to dilute it. So once you feel that it's cold enough, then you should be good. Let's get that up there. Now the other fun part about this drink is I wanted to make sure that we take full advantage of the cocoa nibs that Chris, Christopher makes. So let me pour a little bit for the boomer. Okay, 
and then really you can put as much as you want on here. So I like to float the nibs on the top and I like my chocolate. So what's great, I'll just put a little bit in here. Um, what's really interesting too is the nibs will float on top for a while, actually until you finish the drink, they should be. The other thing I have done is taking the nibs when you're making the uh, creme de cacao, the nibs that have been soaking in the vodka, you're gonna strain that off obviously to get a nice clear liquid. Um, I have saved them and put them on ice cream. I have saved them and put them in the drink. The interesting part is when you put them in the drink, they will sink to the bottom because they are fully engorged with the vodka. Um, so they are a very tasty treat all by themselves. So let's see how I did with the cocktail today. So the creme de cacao takes center stage, and that's, that's the other key of getting a good, clean vodka. This is a very chocolatey drink, but it's a fairly potent drink. Um, what I have found in playing with the experiment, you could actually kick it up a little bit if you want it more chocolatey. There's no reason you can't add another half ounce of the creme de cacao. And if you want it a little more boozy, there's no reason to go a half ounce of vodka. I have found that both of those recipes are still well balanced. What I like about adding the bitters in here is it just gives you a little bit, but not a lot. It helps with the chocolate, but it adds just another layer of flavor that makes it a more interesting chocolate martini than just a slap in your face chocolate. So I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe so we can go on this journey with Boozing with Boomers together. Thank you and cheers.